I got you. So um, let's go ahead and uh, really just remind ourselves. Like, what did I say? You know, when you're suffering from that feeling of being stumped, blanking out, again, that just stems from not having a strategy and not having practiced that strategy enough. So let's go ahead and take a look at this problem with that first step in mind. Everyone, what was step number one in word problem strategy? RTQ. RTQ. I see a lot of people saying RTQ. What does that mean again? Read the question. So I'm going to highlight this in every class moving forward. Step one, two, and three are always going to be shown right there at the top in these classes. So step one, what do we want? Right here. Read the question. How much money will Michelle pay in taxes for the printer? Sounds good. So everyone, in one word, in one word, can you describe to me what we are looking for here? In one word. Right, we're looking for how much we're going to pay in taxes. Yeah. And there's another keyword that we might want to highlight as well. Are we looking for the percent tax, the amount of the tax? What are we looking for? Right, we're looking for the payment, the money amounts right here. How much money will Michelle pay in taxes for some printer that we're talking about? So before we even continue, I'm not asking you if you know how to do the problem already. All I'm asking you is, hey, can you look at that question, that sentence that says, how much money Will Michelle pay in taxes for the printer? Is it is it clear to you that that says, again, how much money? So you're talking about a dollar amount that's associated with paying taxes for a printer. So basically, the dollar amount for the taxes of the printer. Is that fair to say to you? Yes or no? We're looking for the dollar amount, the money that's associated with the tax for the printer. Here. If you missed our insane as that Black Friday sale, don't worry, my party people. The sale went so well that we're going to extend it through Cyber Monday. We're so happy that people understand how important doing well on the ASVAB is, and that's why we're happy to continue supporting anyone who wants to serve our country. So instead of paying greedy tutors that don't support you beyond one study session at a time, join the program that'll have your back every day all the way until you pass. It's the number one ASVAB program at the best price by an ASVAB coach who makes you a priority. Start by clicking here for the details. Then sign up, save up, and let's ace the ASVAB. Okay, so let's just write that down. Like that's what we're looking for. It doesn't matter if we know how to get there yet. We gotta take it one step at a time. First step is knowing what we need to find. Number two, then we'll think about what information can help us. But first, don't jump ahead. Step one, what is it that we want? And again, it's gonna be the money associated in the taxes for the printer. Okay, let's just write that down there, that's fine. The dollar amount that we need in taxes for the printer. Sounds good. Now we can go into step two. Now we can start exploring what we have. So allow me to go ahead and just change a color here so I can make this a little better for us. Okay, so now we're gonna do is again, step two, we're gonna look at what we have. So let's just go ahead and highlight the information here. It says, hey, Michelle sees that the $102 printer she wants to buy. Okay. It's a $102 printer. And it says, we'll have an 8% tax applied at checkout. Okay. I see another number here. 8% tax. And then it says, bringing the total she'll pay to this much money. Okay. Sounds good. So let's go ahead here. Let's write that information down nice and slow here. Number one, it says that it's a $102 printer. But we also see another price right here, $110.16. So let's just break that down for a second because we have two different dollar amounts and we have a percentage. Let's make sure we write down what those things mean. So let me write down the $102 right here. We have the 8% and we also have the 110 16. Let's write those three things down and let's break it down. Everybody, that $102, what would what does that represent? According to you, according to what you saw, what does that represent? And let's use your notes here. Let's use your notes. How do we break things down, everybody? 
we broke it down by the original amount, the amount of the tax or the discount, the percent of the tax or the discount, and the final price. So using those keywords that I just taught you a few moments ago, let's associate it here. The 102, read around the words. Michelle sees that the $102 printer she wants to buy will have a tax applied and then she'll pay this much. So the 102 is best represented by what? The amount before taxes, which is the same thing as saying the original cost. Exactly. That is the original cost. Yes or no, do we agree? That is the original cost. That is the original cost, right? Yeah, it, it was 102 just listed. And then everybody, so what that means is, what does that $110.16 represent? What does that represent? Right, that's the total after taxes. That's the final cost, exactly. Right here, bringing the total she'll pay to 110.16, right there. The total she'll pay to 110.16. So what that tells me is that is the final amount. All right, and then lastly, the 8%, what was that again? That was the tax, right? That was the tax percent, right? That was the tax percent. All right, <clears throat> so let's understand what we have to understand a possible plan. Everyone, one more time, what are we looking for again? What are we looking for in this problem? You can, you can say it in a phrase if you'd like to. What are we looking for? It's all going to be you. We're going to work through it. So when you say tax, notice that we have two things for tax. We have the actual dollar amount of the tax, and we have the percent of the tax. Which type of tax are we looking for, the percent or the amount? Right, the amount of money that she's paying in tax. Everyone, I'm gonna tell you right now, for this problem, you don't even need to have knowledge of how to compute with percents to be able to do this. And here's why. Let's just go ahead and look at this intuitively. Follow me along in terms of the idea. Please go ahead, just put your pencils down. Let me just show you what I mean. Some problems will try to go ahead and trick you. And that's why it's so important to start off with reading the question. Everyone think about it like this. Since we know what the original cost was, and since we also know the final amount, again, after taxes, after taxes, everyone, is it true that if we start from the final amount, so the amount with the tax, and we take away the amount without the tax, what we're going to have left is the amount of the tax. Is that fair to you. Yeah, that's absolutely what's going to happen in this problem here. You check out what you have as the final price. And here you already have the original price. So you can subtract and that'll give you how much tax you got charged. And last bad part of people, just like this free video that you're watching, I have more free materials for you. And there's no excuse for you not to get them. I have a free practice test that comes with video solutions. So you can learn from every single mistake. Now, on top of that, I have a free class on Zoom once a week, every single week for two hours. So imagine that. You got more free materials than just this YouTube video right over here. Let's keep pushing forward. Sign up right now, and I'll see you in the next class. Let's get started. So if you take a look here, so if you take a look here, let's go. $110.16 minus the $102. Let's go ahead and try that out. Let's go ahead and see what happens here. So everyone follow along. Let's see. Six minus zero is six. One minus zero is one. Then zero minus two can't do that. So let's go ahead and cross that out. So then we have 10 minus two. That's going to be eight. Then we have zero minus zero, zero minus zero. So we have eight dollars and 16 cents. That right here is the amount of the tax. That is the amount of the tax, and that would place us right here at answer choice C, because that's the difference between what it originally costed 
and what you paid after taxes, including taxes. So that, that was given to us right there. And now that we have that, boom, answer choice C. And as always, my party people, thanks for watching. You can subscribe with that button right there. And you can also see a link to a video just like this one right up there. But most importantly, if you want the program and you want to raise your score the right way, every step of the way with my support, there's that link at the bottom left. Go ahead, click that link, watch the video on how the program works, subscribe and raise your score.